Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to Terraria. And here we stand, me and my buddy, uh, Streakist. It's a very interesting name for a guide. But we're standing here atop our rock, bathed in the sunlight. It's about high noon right now, I actually better get moving on here. And it seems as though the world, when it generated this time around, decided that it was gonna be really wet. Because there is water absolutely everywhere, would you look at that? Not a tree in sight! It's going to be a rough start this time around. I hope that does not uh, signify what the rest of this Let's Play is going to be. Because this Let's Play, this time, ladies and gentlemen, of course, it is time to start a new Let's Play, a new modded playthrough. And I had mentioned it before, and I think you guys already know what this one is going to be about. Because, of course, you can read the title. If you can't, that's all good, I'll tell you anyway. Today, it is time to start our Calamity Mod Let's Play. It is one that I said I may never do. But I think it's time to get it out of everybody's systems because, I'm, frankly, I'm running out of mods to play. Which, you know what, I feel like it's a good time to play Calamity. We have been all over the place, across a bunch of different mods. I think it's finally time to do one of these, as is tradition for all Terraria YouTubers. It's time to get one of these out there, so I'm sure it's going to be a very exciting time. Of course, as always, I've got lots and lots and lots of mods installed, and uh, quite frankly... I hope everything works out okay, because whenever I was getting ready to play this mod, I was like, um, I'm just gonna download everything that has the word Calamity in the name, and I'm sure it's gonna be a great time. And all that's really done so far now has made it so that all of my mods, basically half of them start with the name Calamity, or have the word Calamity in them somewhere. So it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And to be honest with you, I have been kind of sort of looking forward to this Let's Play, because I have not played the Calamity mod. Oh, that's a very fruity tree right there. Grapefruit and apples can grow on the same tree, and that's nice. What is the best one? Um, I don't really know if it makes a difference. They're both about the same. So we're going to eat the, uh, the grapefruit, I guess. We'll be a little sour today. But anyways, I have been very much so looking forward to this Let's Play. There is another fruit. It is lemons. There is fruit everywhere on this world. It's a fruity world. But anyways, before I get interrupted by any more fruit, are you kidding me? That's fine. One more lemon. It's all good. Like I've been trying to say... This Let's Play is something that I've been looking forward to because the Calamity mod is something that I have not played since... Now, it was well before the Rust and Dust update, that's for sure. Before the Wolfram stuff was all fancy and before Draydon was even a thing. Speak of the devil, there it is. There's a Wolfram Gyrator. There's a Wolfram Ball down there. It's very exciting. We'll deal with him in a minute once I get my bearings here. It's already almost nighttime, so, you know... We're uh, about to experience some pain, but yeah, I really don't know what to expect from this. It could be a very interesting time, or I could be racked with pain and suffering and agony and suffer eternally, which I feel like is pretty standard for a Calamity Let's Play anyways. Oh, and of course, I almost forgot. Uh, the only real way to play Calamity. No, I will absolutely not play Death Mode, and uh, Malice is... Uh, well, that's not even a thing anymore, I don't think. I don't know. I think I heard that it was removed because it wasn't that great. I, I don't know. We're definitely playing with Revengeance, though. Fun fact for those of you that may not know, the Revengeance mode difficulty is in fact a reference to Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Fun fact for you, since we love our references here in the Ballman channel, the one I finally understand is the most easiest, most obvious one out there. I really need to get my bearings here. I got a lot of dragonflies. Got some natural defenses here. I really should kind of uh, take advantage of this little space I've got here. What do you, what do you think, Streak, 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 Streisand, Barbara Streisand? What do you think, Barbara Streisand? Greetings, something I can help you with. Now you could stand there and do nothing. You're really good at that. Let's see, we got some copper here. That could be valuable. We add a little bit more water here and there, because why not? See if I can find some kind of something. Of course, I have the Remnants mod installed as well. And that's why the world looks the way that it does. I really can't play without that mod anymore, so I was glad that it was somewhat, at least for the most part, compatible with the Calamity mod. Gotta have the beautiful, wonderful, amazingness that is all the new spawns and the new, some a like AI that's down there, like the hanging bats that give me endless pain and suffering and agony. And speaking of things underground, there is our first entrance. I'm pretty sure this is another remnants thing because I remember there being one of those. Though, of course, Calamity does add a lot of structures, so that could really be anything. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna get killed by a slime. I am immediately suffering immense agony. I'm gonna put a campfire down here, make a workbench. Maybe we can grab a couple of little things here and there before I go on in. There's a squirrel staff. We'll get that. I'll be a summoner. Why not? Oh, I can't forget to open up my starter bag as well. Gotta open this thing up. Wow. Well, that's a lot of stuff. Statue of Calamity and a music box Calamity. 
Oh, that's right. I've got Calamity's Vanities in here as well. What is going on right now? There's some stuff here to look at, and it is getting kind of green outside. Okay, we're going to hunker down, take some cover. Yeah, throw those. You're very inaccurate, squirrel. Okay, um, I don't really have time to hide right here, so I'm going to put myself in a little bit of a box. Kind of secluded. We'll go over some of this stuff here. I guess, uh, hurtful, deadly. What is better? Speed? Is speed even valuable? I mean, is it rapid fire throwing? Is that is that a good thing? It looks like it does the same damage. I don't know. I'll stick with hurtful. It can throw insults at everything that tries to attack me. Hold on to that copper short sword. We'll put this stuff down here. We'll hunker down. And we'll try to figure some stuff out here. Can anything fancy be crafted? I definitely want a hammer. Hammers are important. Need one of those going forward here. And of course, we have to get our ball man helmet on. We got to throw that thing on there. And I'll throw on a wooden armor as well, because why not? It's better to have barely any defense and die after two hits than to have no defense and die just because they looked at you. All right, so I've got the Calamity mod thing here. We'll throw that down. I've got Calamity's Vanities on here as well. I'm not sure if this is the same thing or not, but the, oh, it's just a statue. Okay, there we go. Somebody is getting splattered out there. It sounds very uncomfortable. I guess we'll throw on a throwing brick. That's good. An amethyst staff. There's a copper hammer. I guess I already got one of those. I haven't played this mod in so long, I forget what that bag even gives you. It's all kinds of stuff. And I guess we'll just kind of work our way around down there. I'm not really sure. We're just going to hang out. Not really anything planned for this episode. Of course, this is the first episode, so this is going to be the introductory video. We've got lots of new music mods installed as well, so that's going to be fun. Oh god, that's a wide open wall there. Here I was thinking that was solid. I was wrong. And I'm dead. I was alive once upon a time. Hello, Streakist. I'm back already. I didn't last very long. The very first death happened, what, about eight minutes into the Let's Play? That sounds just about par for the course there. I turn the music volume up a little bit because there are a lot of very nice soundtracks here. Might not throw that one on now, though. I think I'm going to just hold off on that. All right. Get your money's worth, Acorn Man. Ah, no, 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 no. You get out of here. You just back off. There we go. Take you down real fast. Okay, I'm going to loot this now before I get murdered again. Take the chest with me. Metal trunk. That's a little bit different. It is a remnants item. I thought it looked a little bit different. I was going to say, that doesn't look like the standard chests there. All right, what do we got down here? Lots of booby traps, probably. Is that spikes? Is that what that is? Oh, no, that's just a little environmental hazard. Ambience, I guess. Whatever you want to call that. Clay. I don't know if that's going to be valuable for anything, but we're going to mine it anyway. Get a little bit of that here and there. Let's see. Oh, a sharpening station. Is that what that... No, that's a sawmill. That's not a sharpening station. But still, that's good to get one of those right away. Maybe I'll uh, convert this place into a little starter base down here. I might do that. Nah, you know me. I have to find somewhere really convoluted to put a base and spend a ridiculous amount of time trying to make something look marginally reasonable. Just for me to spend all about three seconds there every time I get on and then run off in more adventures. Some funky new music down here. I have no idea which mod this is from, but it's very nice to listen to. Ah, God, there's the bat. See, I told you they'd frustrate me to no end. They just appear. I got rabies. I'm rabid. Lots and lots of potions. Finally, some healing potions. A little too little too late, but we got some. Where is it? There it is. Right there. Oh, there was one of these little uh, lore items there. I forgot about that. What does that say? Press left shift to listen closer. Awakening. The tombs of the dragon stir. My eyes lift to see an ancient... Excuse me. Pardon me, Rage. Settle down. That was very fast. I don't remember that filling up so quickly. That was the only one thing to do. Hey, get out on that slime. Get back here. Ah, I'm gonna kill you. Ah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fall to my death and die. I die, slime. Die, slime. Ah. Even full of rage, I couldn't kill a slime quickly. That's disappointing. Anyways, excuse you. These grand wings. How long has it been since I was a hero worthy of their name? It feels like centuries have passed, yet all I've done is blink. Look upon my works as they are, ruined. None would dare seek me out, tread my path. Naught awaits them in this cruel world. Is that uh, Yarim talking about himself? I thought that was what the lore items always were. It was just him just rambling about himself and his past and his misdeeds. All right, zombie man, face the bricks. How do you like that? You're getting bricked. Brick in the face. How do you like them apples? I think them apples are great. I'm gonna have one right now, actually. And I love how easy it is to get to the underground with the Remnants mod. It's so nice. You can just walk right on down. Get easy access to your little hole down here. You can move about. I guess I could just burrow holes through all this stuff here, but I kind of like the path that it gives me. Kind of hoping for a little bit of gems down here. An early game hook would be pretty nice. First episode, get our first hook. Ah! That's a very fast bat. Very fast, hard-hitting bat. Is that another sawmill over there? 
Why would I need so many sawmills to begin with? Is that just like the most popular item for the Remnants mod? Because the developer really enjoys sawmills. Or whoever built this place really did, too. I might as well take them with me. I'm probably going to have a bunch of them. I'm just going to hold on to all the sawmills. Put that up there so I can have a little bit of climbing since I'm not allowed to hook yet. Climb on up here. I'll take another sawmill because why not? Oh, there's some rubies. No, those are amethysts. Never mind. They kind of looked a little bit red. Excuse you. Pardon me. These bats are going to be the reason why I don't get to explore today. But you know what? Maybe I'll go to one of the other places and I'll just get a whole bunch of stuff over there and then come back and massively outgear this place and mop the floor with y'all. How do you like them apples? All right, it's moving on here a little bit. I heard a plunk. I'm not sure what that was. Oh, now I'm blinded a little bit now. They follow these pathways around, a little bit more linear. For those of you that have not played with the Remnants mod before, this is kind of how the whole thing works. I mean, there's a lot of structures, but it massively overhauls the rest of the world generation as well, and I kind of prefer it. It's not quite exactly like that, uh, the classic Terraria feel with world generation, but it definitely kind of gives it a little bit more of a, not an open or a linear exploration path forward, but it definitely adds a little bit more fluidity to the world. I think that's the best way that I can describe it. And I really enjoy it. I like having, you know, mini dungeons, of course, everywhere, but I kind of like something like a little bit more consistent, more natural looking world rather than a random mismatch. Like, uh, Lord RN Jesus just took a bucket of random biome paints and just started splattering them all over the canvas that is the world generator. Feels better to explore, you know what I mean? You know what doesn't feel good to explore? Bumping into a spider cave right away. This is not where I want to be at all. I think I'm going to burrow my way around. Do I have bombs? Can I blow this up? I think I have some bombs. We're going to throw some bombs in there. See what happens. Where are they? There we are. All right, let's throw a bomb in there. See what happens. How far does it go down? That's the, uh, the advanced glow stick. Some people use them for mining or demolition. I just use them for a little bit extra light down there. Anything down there? I can't see anything. I don't know. Well, whatever was down there to see is definitely not there anymore. Oh, now you did it again. I'm going to blast you with the rage. Get over here. Oh, I'm going to get you. Ah, murder everything. You know, for a spider cave, I've noticed a significant lack of spiders in it. I don't know if anybody else has also seen that. More torches there. We'll stack that up right there. Very good. I kind of want that up there. I guess I didn't really need that many, but whatever. We're going to have lots of iron. I'm going to be the Iron Man. Is that another spider web cave over there? That's exciting. They're neighbors. That's so sweet. And here we are. I traveled through a spider cave without encountering a single spider. That is very strange. Kind of thought, you know, it'd be a little bit more spiders in there. Maybe it's a, a bug. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I say that now, and then the next time I come down here, it's just going to be Spider City. I wonder why there aren't any here, though. I'm kind of surprised. Like, genuinely, I'm kind of concerned a little bit. I hope nothing broke. Either that or this, this spider cave here is massive. It's probably got a few of them spiders all over the place, I would guess. This episode's going to be a really long one. Yep, yeah, there we go. Climb on up now. There we go. Give me some iron. A lot of iron in the spider caves here. Maybe that's why they all died off. They're not around anymore. Too many minerals in their diet. Come on, bat. Yeah, I saw you. I was prepared for you this time. Still got hit by you, but that's all good. I hear a worm. There's a worm coming. Oh, hello. You're a, you're a big one, aren't you? You're a big fella. Where are you? Why, why are you so large? Giant worm? There we go. We splattered it. What did I get from that? Anything? Did I get a whoopee cushion right away? Not really. No? Okay, that's fine. I didn't want one anyway. That would have been a dumb thing to get. Why? Well, who would want one of those? Not even a spider chest down here either. Like, it's barely even a spider biome. There's no spider chest, no web stylists. Just slimes. It's just a bunch of slime. Oh god, this is where my end is gonna be. Right here. This is it. Oh, I knocked them all away. Never mind. I'm good. Let me out. Let me out of here. I mean, up, 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 up and away, up and away to infinity and beyond. Oh, fine. I guess I'll go check the other spider cave then. I'll see if there's anything over there. Maybe it's got some friends to bump into and see. There's the plunking noise again. It's something. I don't know what it is, but it's a little concerning. Somebody's plunking over there. I'm going to die. This is where it's going to happen. Every time I see any creature anywhere, that's just my immediate reaction is, yep, that's it. I'm going to die. No, oh, stop trying to play leapfrog with me. Get away. No, I don't want to play. You don't play nice. You're aggressive. Get out of here. No. Oh. Oh, oh, not another one of those. Here it comes, another giant worm. Ah, there you go. I've got a, a sword weapon. I've got a sword weapon I can slash at you. Come here. Get over here. Okay, we can play a little leapfrog. Ah, I win. We'll throw that out. There we go. Jump up. We'll throw it again. And I throw this up a little higher. Oh, wow, that goes up real high. Okay. Anything else down here in the empty spider cave with nothing in it? Yeah, no, bat. Get out of here. No, more bats. Is that the only thing on this map anymore? There's nothing else. It's just bats. They're the only creatures in the entire mod now. This, is, this isn't in the Calamity mod. This is the bat mod. 
Oh, saying we're dead. That's fine, I wanted to go back anyway. Hey, bright sunshiny day. All right, maybe I should make some kind of a... Uh, like a platform here that I could work with. Hmm, let's see. Um, I guess we'll put a little something something up here. A little up and out of the way, nice and cozy. A temporary base. Floating safety box, probably. Oh, okay, I forgot. Uh, smart cursor was on there. Got a little something going on. Let's try that again. Nice wide open platform here. We'll make another workbench. Should have lots of stuff to make all the standard crafting things here. Right? I have some stone somewhere. Did I get stone? I don't think I harvested any stone. Well, I don't want to mess up my beautiful rock over there, so I'm going to try somewhere else. Not enough stone to make anything worthwhile. There we go. We'll just get this stone here a little bit. I think I need, what, 20 for a forge or a furnace? Yeah, we'll just poof back there because I don't feel like walking. There we go. We got a furnace. It's ready to go. Beautiful. Now let's smelt some bars. Should have lots of them here. I have lots of copper. Maybe I can actually make myself a set of copper armor. Imagine being excited about that. And there we go. We've got a nice little crafting station here. Let's see what all we can make now. Anything calamity specific here? I can make iron friend friend Francesca. Iron Francesca. Some rusted pipes. That's from calamity as well. Flare gun. I can get a radar. That could be nice. An aglet. I can make those. I'm pretty sure that's a recipe added by the remnants mod. There's the Tarakitech catalog. Diving helmet could be very good. That could actually be extraordinarily handy in the beginning of the game, to be honest with you, with some, like, underwater survivability. I think I'm gonna put that on, actually. I lose my little tiny set bonus, but I think I would really rather have that. It's okay, I can put on the copper set. What did that say? 3% increased critical strike chance. Interesting. And a 5% increased movement speed. Okay, that's alright. So I guess the copper set actually has set bonuses. I think I remember hearing about the Calamity mod doing that. What is now the set bonus, though, I wonder? Increases all damage by two. So a little bit of damage versus swapping that out for some survivability. That's not a terrible idea, I don't think. Throw together a couple of more platforms here. Can put some chests down there. Whoops, a little bit too low there. Hang, hang on a second. All right, we'll use the trunks. We'll deposit all. Just throw all that good stuff in there. I don't really want to hold on to very much of anything, to be honest with you. I might put the consumable stuff somewhere else, though. I think I'll do that. I'll put those in different places here. All my fruit that I've collected from many, many hours of hard... Farming. I don't want to hold on to the wooden stuff. That can go away. Copper short sword. Of course, we got to keep that. I can sell the squirrel staff. We will keep the rope. Stuff's going to be valuable. Put down the uh, campfire there to have a little bit of region. All right, the inventory is sorted. Very good. And we've got a little bit of defense. That's nice. Very nice. I guess we can craft some of these extra items here. Bug net. That's not too terribly expensive. Might as well grab one of those, get some worms, do some fishing or something later, maybe. I guess we could upgrade to some iron tools as well. That'd be handy, I bet. Just to make things a little bit less mine numbing Fishing pole we'll hold on to. Why not? And let's see. We'll make an aglet. Sure, why not? A little bit of movement speed. And give me a radar just because it's silent. Ooh, eight stealth generation. I could be a rogue this time around. That's right. I could be sneaky. I can spend the entire Let's Play collecting wide varieties of very chaotic throwing knives. It's about every weapon they got. Now that looks like that's about it for right now. I guess I could have crafted the iron set, giving myself a little bit more defense. Maybe I will do that after all. I have a lot of iron, so I might as well. I forgot how much you get thrown at you whenever you play this mod. Remnants, that is. Increase life regen, it reduces damage taken, and get an extra two defense from the set bonus. That is pretty nice. Maybe I will just leave that whole set on just because. I went through so much armor here. Look at me. I am solid right now, too. I am a solid man. Better back off, bunny. I'm dangerous. I can't hit you. Save my life. It's because I can't see anything out of this tiny little gap here, all right? I don't know where anything is. I just hear sounds and start swinging. Get out of here. Is that Calamitous up there? Oh, come back. Oh, she's a quick one. Oh, look at that. Ah, I bet that's that's Calamitous, too. Everywhere I go, I see Calamitous. I'll get you, Calamitous. Ah, instead of, like, Don Quixote over here, I'm like Ball Quixote. Better watch out. I see Calamitous everywhere I go, around every corner. Ah, now that's much better. I guess I could craft the hook as well. Could throw that on there. I don't know if I have the ability to make chains quite yet, though, do I? I could make myself a basic hook. It's not the best thing ever, but it'll work. There we go. There's some chains. Throw that on there. Basic grappling hook. It gives you a little bit of information there. I think Calamity adds those tooltips on there, too. Reach and launch velocity, reel back, pull. Not too bad. Very nice. We got a little bit of something-something. So we got a little bit of extra mobility, right? And we've got our bug net, some fishing rods, some survivability, a few accessories. I think we're ready for action, to be honest with you. Have my squirrel throw things out there. Throwing some nuts at you. What are you going to do? Getting hit in the face with nuts? Ah, gotcha. <laughs> That's why I like this little guy. He's so excited, wagging his tail. Ready to throw some nuts at people. So why is it whenever it's far away, he throws it straight up in the air and hopes it lands on its head, but, like, 
Like, you could just throw it straight, like, right there. Look, there you go. See, why didn't you just do that to begin with? You probably would have hit him there. You go back to throwing it up in the air again. You have an interesting way of being, but you know what? I like you. You can stay. But anyways, with that, ladies and gentlemen, that, I think, is going to be a pretty good stopping point here for the first episode. I'm very excited, like I said, to get into this. It's going to be a real good time. Of course, once again, we are doing this in Revengeance mode. No, I will not do it in Death mode. I don't care if it's easy. Believe me. I, I, I've i played Death mode before, and, uh, you know, I've experienced that pain and suffering many times. I'm not looking for pain and suffering this time. I'm looking to just have a, a reasonably chill let's play. The last mod was definitely full of lots of, of quirkiness and excitement and craziness. We played some mods that are very challenging. This time around, I'm just kind of looking for classic Terraria let's play. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know a lot of you might be a little bit upset about my choice of mod. Believe me, it's not exactly, uh, it wasn't the top of my list for the longest time, but I think it's worth a playthrough now because it was one of my first and one of my favorite mods to ever play. So we're going to give it a go, and hopefully we have a good time. And maybe by the time I'm done with this Let's Play here in another year or so, uh, maybe something else will be out and we can play, I don't know, Starlight River or Endless Escapades or something like that. I have no idea. Whenever they get those mods going, I'm sure everybody's working real hard on them. But anyways, like I said, the end of the night, the end of the episode. I think I'm going to call it an episode here, guys. So thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Mm, that's sewer. <laughs>